all right so example of this is this glass morphism that i've made here so you can actually put it anywhere this is an example of glass morphism so i'm just going to show you in a quick play tutorial on how to make something like this okay good day everybody welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button and without further ado let's get right into it so okay we have a blank document you can make it 1080 by 1080 or any size of your choice on the design that you're working on okay first thing you do is to import your image just drag and drop and we have it okay resize this and position it in the direction that you want it to be second step is to duplicate the image by hitting ctrl j then come to your tool and draw a rectangle depending on the shape that you want to morph just run the corner a little bit like 40 with something then you click ok now come to your layer order here take the image we've duplicated the image before so just take the first one and put it on top of the rectangle the shape you've drawn then clip it to the shape okay you hold the alt key and you see this arrow here just click it and you're gonna clip it now you don't see any changes on design because both image back and forth are on the same pixels but this very first one is somewhere here look at it here so now we're going to do this magic by making it exact the same point that's why we duplicated it so let's say ctrl z so that it be on that same spot so we're going to lock this layer because we don't want it to move actually okay we want it to be the same position with the one behind okay this is now what we are blurring we're blowing the face image on on top okay so you come to filter come to blur come to gaussian blur okay and now we have the blur shape already there okay this is one you can adjust the blur depending on what you want okay i want it to see have some depth there so you click okay and now that we are having this blur just lock it okay so that you don't move it again now on the shape you come to your effect control here and see inner drop shadow here on your inner drop shadow you can actually just change the opacity and the distance to however you want it okay i don't want the distance to change in any way and the size you can just reduce it you can reduce it so tiny that you just look like a line or you can make it a little bit out okay the main parameters here are not even the opacity the opacity is just how intense you want that drop shadow and make sure it's white okay if you pick another color it's not gonna give this beauty okay you see how bad it's looking so make sure you pick white as the block at the inner shadow color and just don't play with the choke a little bit to show a little bit of lighter spread okay you can actually just do this and just give it some brownness to it okay just one trick here what one, one thing many people don't know is that you can actually come here and drag the shadow and adjust it yourself instead of using it to using these parameters okay these parameters give you some precise way to do it but if you come here and you hold and you drag you can see that it's going to adjust based on where you're dragging it to okay many people don't know this but i, I don't think it's the best way to of, of working but it depends on how how good you are with your mouse or your pen while working i'm using my mouse here so it's kind of difficult for me to drag but if you're using something like a stylus pen or a cintiq anything that uh it's different from mouse or a better mouse well that would be a very good and great advantage to have so i really don't want it to look like that so i will just take my let's take it back to 90 and i, I don't think this is the best one I so now we have this a uh, the good part is that you can move it to any part of the image and you're still going to have your glass in there you can put it on the face you can put it anywhere okay for this design what i actually did to get this glass morphism which we i showed you in the beginning is that to get this one you can see that the morphism is actually affecting both in my case i didn't want it to affect every other thing i just wanted to affect this image of this lady in the background so immediately after creating the background i made this shape duplicated the background let me show you let me show you okay 
this layer here that is locked no not that one this one here so if it's you go this is a, a a vector shape uh not vector what do you call it um a smart object so after making the background and the lady okay i group them together kind of mesh them together so that they will be on their own so i drew the shape here so that the glass morphism can be duplicated and clipped to this shape so if you see this now you can see that this one is clipped to this shape oh no that's not it this this is a rectangle here this is just a shape so if you turn off this layer now it's just going to be a shape okay a rectangular shape black doesn't matter which color anyway so once you're done okay let me unclip this so you know you see it and clip boy okay now this is the shape here this is it this is the glass part this is the blood part okay because this place is in exact position with so because this this shape here i mean this picture or the background and the lady are in the same position with the one at the background you want to notice the difference so now when you clip it to this shape this one here let me turn off this layer face so when you clip it to this part let me do that now that part is only affecting this rectangular shape because it's now inside you've clipped it inside so this glass morphism oh, oh i've not locked that layer so if you lock it now you'll be able to move this shape itself the shape itself let me see. sometimes photoshop just freaks me out most times okay you're able to move it it's not going to affect any other thing apart from this lady in the background because those are the things that was actually duplicated so if you want it to affect everything what you don't want to design group everything then you convert it blur it and that's all so that's it that's for this video thank you so much for watching it's very easy to make and like I said, if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button. And today is my day three. Don't interested. <laughs> so bye. See you in the next video.